Welcome to Worship Tutorials. This is an exciting video because it's the first patch in a series of patches we're calling Worship Tutorial Signature Patches. This is my signature patch. Basically what it is, is like the live uh, Helix and 
Axe Effects Fractal rig that I've been running uh, lately when I play, you know, at church and stuff. And it's a combination of my favorite favorite amplifiers. So at its core, it's a tone match patch for both Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, and Fractal, Axe Effects 3, and FM9. It's only available on those platforms because it is a dual amp patch. That's sort of the magic of, of these presets. So it's only available on platforms that are capable of running dual amp patches like that. So the two amps that I pair together that I love are my all-time favorite amplifier, the 94 Matchless C30. I've been experimenting with different amps that I like to pair with it, and I landed on two uh, that I really love, uh, both of them other Matchless amps. Initially, it was the Chieftain. The Chieftain really pairs well with a Vox uh, AC-style amp. That's what the WT Supreme patch is, is the AC30 and the Chieftain. Uh, but uh, several months back, I picked up a Matchless Clubman, and you can get presets based on the Matchless Clubman, tone match presets uh, from Worst Tutorials, but I found the magic was pairing the Clubman and the C30 together. So that's what these patches are at their core. And then what I've done is, since I built like this large pedal board, I've really discovered some sounds that I love using these pedals, and I've recreated those as well as I can in uh, the Line 6 and the Fractal hardware. So you're getting multiple levels of overdrive in these presets uh, coming from a uh, King of Tone uh, type drive, uh, 808 style drive, Klon style drives, and uh, some bigger like distortion in uh, line six, it's the OCD, and in the fractal units, it's the Sir Riot. I have a Sir Riot pedal, and it's awesome. It's like a huge, big Marshall in a box kind of thing. On the, uh, the other effects type of things, we've got, of course, you get a lot of delays, uh, you know, wide dual delays, dotted eighth delays, that kind of thing. For modulation, I've I've grown to love tremolo and chorus, so those are my modulation uh, effects of choice. Now, um, I, I'm kind of stealing a little bit of Bradford's magic in this patch, um, and uh, I don't know how he feels about that, but, you know, this patch is, is like born uh, from the for the guitar players who inspire me. So Bradford, you inspire me when you play. And one of the things Bradford does is he has this ramping tremolo that he uses uh, the Gravitas, the Chase Bliss Gravitas. So in the Fractal patch, it's available. Line 6 can't really do it, unfortunately. But in the Fractal patch, it's available. You have to press and hold on the trim button to get to it. All of the notes on how to actually use this patch, because I put a little more functionality into this than we usually do, uh, just because it's stuff I like. It's all in the readme notes that you get when you purchase the patch. So you got this ramping trim that's cool. You got chorus on there, the types of choruses that I like. Um, both patches have uh, stomp modes where you have individual effects available to you and snapshot or scene modes where you can jump around to preset sounds. And I've given you the sounds that I love. Like one of them is called 80s Dirt. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> so, you know, you can play Highway to the Danger Zone all day long uh, at sound check, you know, or you can just use that sound in the, in the songs uh, that you play uh, and make things sound cooler, right? So I, I love that stuff. That kind of, those kinds of sounds are coming back too. Um, you're hearing them more and more. Another thing that I've thrown into each of these patches, and this is actually from another guitar player that has inspired me, Nick Rice, who's on the channel uh, here. When Nick and I played together at my old church when we were both on staff, he had the Digitech Whammy, which one was it, Nick? Nick's in the room, he's back five. here. Digitech Whammy 5. And he would he would do the Whammy stuff all the time. And then he, he would stay, he'd post up on the sub like this, and he'd, and he'd do the whammy. Well, I don't know how you post it up and whammy it at the same time. I don't think it happened at the same time. No. <laughs> You'd have to float <laughs> if you did that. But Nick would do the whammy stuff all the time. He'd just stare at me. I'm trying to lead worship. Nick's over there giving me the stink eye, and I'm just laughing into the microphone. Uh, but I really, I loved the way the whammy stuff 
sounded. So um, I've included it in both patches. Now to use it on the Helix, what you do is you press down and hit the button that's on the foot switch and it turns it on and then and then you flip to EXP1 and then the uh, the expression pedal is what I'm trying to say. Then the expression pedal controls the, the pitch and it just goes up an octave. And then in the fractal devices, you'll have to plug in another expression pedal. I like to have a second expression pedal, plug it into pedal two on the FC controller and then you'll need to map uh, the pitch parameter to that controller. One thing you can do in the fractal devices that's really cool is you can set it to auto engage when you move the pedal. So you can just have a pedal, a second pedal plugged in all the time. You could do this with Helix as well. You could have another pedal plugged in all the time that controls it. But for fractal, you can have that second pedal plugged in just uh, you know in the off position. Then anytime you step on it, it turns the pitch on and then engages it. It's a really uh, clever way to use it in the Axe FX3 and FM9. So, my favorite stuff all packed into this patch with my favorite pair of amplifiers, the Matchless C30, the Matchless Clubman. I guess I like Matchless amps. Phil, from Matchless, you, you do it right. Uh, this is my favorite stuff. All in this patch. Links below. Again, the README notes have detailed instructions about how you can get to all like the, the power user kind of stuff that I threw in these patches. Like I said, more signature stuff from Worship Tutorials, Bradford's patch, coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.